10 tips for building healthy relationships with colleagues as a teacher. Teaching is a profession that often demands collaboration and interaction with fellow educators. Building healthy relationships with colleagues not only enhances your work environment, but also contributes to professional growth and student success. Here are 10 comprehensive tips for teachers to effectively work with and get along with their colleagues. Communicate openly and regularly. Open communication is the bedrock of any healthy relationship. For teachers, maintaining open lines of communication with colleagues is crucial for fostering a collaborative environment. Schedule regular informal check-ins with colleagues. This could be during breaks, after school or through scheduled meetings. Regular contact helps keep everyone informed and connected. Utilize different communication channels such as emails, messaging apps, and face-to-face -face conversations to ensure your message is clear and received promptly. Create a feedback loop where you regularly seek and provide constructive feedback. This practice helps in addressing issues before they escalate and ensures continuous improvement. Focus on your emotional intelligence. Emotional intelligence is your ability to recognize your own emotions and better understand what they're telling you. By developing your EI, you'll become more adept at identifying and handling the emotions and needs of others. Practice active listening. Active listening is essential for understanding and building trust with your colleagues. It involves fully considering, understanding, responding and remembering what is being said. Techniques for active listening. Give your full attention to the speaker, making eye contact and avoiding distractions such as phones or laptops. Paraphrase or summarize what the speaker has said to show that you understand their message. For example, so what you're saying is, use non-verbal cues such as nodding and facial expressions to show that you are engaged in the conversation. Share resources and ideas. Sharing resources and ideas can significantly enhance the teaching and learning experience. It promotes a collaborative culture and reduces the workload for individual teachers. How to share effectively. Utilize digital platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, or a school's learning management system to share lesson plans, worksheets, and other resources. Create a shared pool of resources where teachers can contribute and borrow materials as needed. Engage in co-planning sessions where you can brainstorm and develop lesson plans together, ensuring a cohesive approach across different classes. Engage in team projects. Team projects encourage collaboration and innovation. They allow teachers to pull their expertise and work towards common goals leading to better outcomes for students. Examples of team projects. Collaborate with teachers from other subjects to create interdisciplinary projects that provide students with a more integrated learning experience. Work together on organizing school events such as science fairs, cultural festivals or sports days. These events require teamwork and provide opportunities for building strong professional relationships. Join or form a professional learning community where teachers meet regularly to discuss teaching practices, analyze student work, and plan interventions collaboratively. Schedule time to build relationships. If possible, you could ask a colleague out for a quick cup of coffee or give a one minute of kindness by commenting on a coworker's LinkedIn post that you enjoyed reading. These little interactions take time, but they lay the groundwork for strong relationships. Manage your boundaries. Make time but not too much. Sometimes a work relationship can impair productivity, especially when a friend or colleague begins to monopolize your time. It's important to set your boundaries and manage how much time you devote to social interactions at work. Offer support and mentorship. Supporting and mentoring colleagues, especially new or less experienced teachers, is crucial for building a supportive work environment. It helps professional development and creates a sense of community. Ways to offer support. Participate in formal mentoring programs where experienced teachers guide new educators through their initial years. Ask another teacher if they need anything, like when they looked rushed 
offered to do some photocopying for them. Small gestures work wonders and they will reciprocate in the future. If they don't, then maybe don't offer again, although it might just be because they forgot. Invite colleagues to observe your classes and offer to observe theirs. This practice helps in sharing effective teaching strategies and providing constructive feedback. Emotional support. Be available to listen and offer emotional support to colleagues who may be facing personal or professional challenges. Everyone, from the principal to the new teacher, wants to feel that their work is appreciated. So genuinely compliment the people around you when they do something well. Praise and recognition will open the door to great work relationships. Participate in social activities. Social activities outside the classroom are vital for building personal connections and a sense of community among teachers. Ideas for social activities. Organize regular staff lunches or dinners where teachers can relax and get to know each other better. Participate in team building activities such as retreats, workshops, or team sports. These activities promote trust and collaboration. Arrange after-school gatherings at local cafes or parks. These informal settings provide opportunities for relaxed conversations and bonding. Celebrate successes and milestones. Celebrating successes and milestones, both professional and personal, fosters a positive work environment and strengthens relationships. Publicly acknowledge and celebrate your colleagues' achievements in staff meetings or through school newsletters. Send a congratulatory email or a card to a colleague who has achieved something significant. Organize social gatherings to celebrate milestones such as birthdays, work anniversaries, or personal accomplishments like completing a marathon or earning a degree. Maintain a positive attitude. A positive attitude is contagious and can significantly influence the work environment. It helps in creating a supportive and uplifting atmosphere. Tips for staying positive. Start a practice of expressing gratitude regularly. This could be as simple as thanking a colleague for their help or acknowledging a job well done. Have an optimistic outlook. Focus on solutions rather than problems. Approach challenges with an optimistic mindset and encourage your colleagues to do the same. Take care of your own well-being. A healthy work-life balance, regular exercise, and adequate rest contribute to maintaining a positive attitude. Develop conflict resolution skills. Disagreements are inevitable in any workplace. Developing effective conflict resolution skills ensures that conflicts are addressed constructively, maintaining a harmonious work environment. Strategies for conflict resolution. Avoid gossiping. Many students might come up to you to gossip about another teacher, or teachers often gossip to one another. Try to to avoid situations like these. Even though we might be curious or feel validated with students coming to us about another bad teacher, tell them that you are not interested in their gossip as it will hurt relationships. Reprimand them and tell them to complain through the right channels. Otherwise, it can lead to a negative situation. Listen to all parties involved in the conflict without interrupting. Ensure everyone feels heard and understood. Focus on common goals and interests of all parties. This helps in finding mutually beneficial solutions. Mediation. If necessary, involve a neutral third party to mediate the conflict and facilitate a resolution. Engage in professional development together. Professional development is key to staying current with educational trends and improving teaching practices. Engaging in professional development activities together with colleagues fosters a culture of continuous learning. Opportunities for professional development. Attend workshops and seminars together. Discussing and reflecting on what you have learned helps in integrating new knowledge into your practice. Pineapple charts. A pineapple chart is a system that allows teachers to invite one another into their classrooms for informal observation. The chart is set up in some location where teachers go on a daily basis. The teacher's lounge, the copy room, or wherever teacher mailboxes are in your school. On the chart, teachers advertise the interesting things they are doing in their classrooms, activities they think others might want to 
observe. The activities could be as complex as a science lab, a history simulation or a Skype session with a school in another country. Engage in collaborative research projects. This not only enhances your own knowledge but also contributes to the broader educational community. Participate in online courses and webinars. Form study groups to discuss and apply the course content to your teaching context. Building and maintaining healthy relationships with colleagues requires effort but the benefits are substantial. These strategies not only enhance professional satisfaction but also contribute to a supportive and thriving educational community.